Good evening from East Texas. This is Brett and welcome to my backyard. I'll give you all a little view this afternoon of part of my backyard. We've got a few projects going on today. We're doing some work on the house. You can see we've got some trim out here. We're working on one of my fruit trees in the background here. Luckily I did just get the yard mowed here before the rains that are coming in the early next week so that's good. But what I'm doing this afternoon is I am transplanting some of my pomegranate trees and so first of all I started them out let me get one here I started them out in these little grow bags this is a new thing I'm using this year I really like these they're perfect size for a lot of seedlings that you're starting out they allow a lot of air into the soil and they also allow if you might be able to see here roots can grow through these very easily they will biodegrade over time and so that makes these a really good medium for starting small plants in such as these pomegranates here and until you get to a size that you want to transplant them now story about these i was on vacation uh, this past christmas down in freeport texas and my wife and i are doing our, one of our favorite things on vacation, long walks on the beach. Yes, we are those people. And we found this pomegranate uh, in our shell hunting excursion and we figured, hey, let's pick that up and let's just take it home and dry the seeds and see, see what we can get from this. And uh, so I've managed to get quite a few. Pomegranates are one of the harder tree seeds to get going and so we'll have to do a video on those later. But as of today, we're going to take this little tree and we're going to get it transplanted up into a bigger pot. And this will grow over time until they get a larger size, that they'll be more protected and until I find the spot in the yard that I want to put these out at. But today we're going to take from this little growing pot here and just transplant them into a little bigger pot, give it a little more room to grow here. And so I'm going to start off with some of my garden soil give it a little base here put it into now when you're looking for a good grow medium i like this stuff here because uh, it's got a lot of organic material i don't know if you can see that uh, little pieces of wood and stuff breaking down that's good nutrients in the soil that's going to help these roots and everything suck up some nutrition for this little tree here and so we want to get a good solid base. We want to set it in. And an important thing when you're planting your trees as opposed to the tomatoes I showed you in a previous video, a lot of your vegetables, tomatoes especially, you can bury a lot of the stalk to give it a lot more uh, base, a lot more solid planting. Let it get a little bigger, more root structure. Trees, when they get planted, they like to stay at a good even kill there as far as ground level so when we put them in we want to make sure that we want to fill the soil up to that level and not get it buried down because that could cause root uh, rot up on to the structure of the tree itself here so really easy we're just gonna add in a little soil here make sure it's good and packed down this will help when we go to water it later. Make sure it's got a good solid base. And then when we water, we want to, especially the first time watering, we'll make sure we give it a good soaking uh, to get all those little air pockets out. It's very important. Oh, don't want to damage that little tree there. And like a lot of fruit trees, usually these will take, this is its first spring here, just got it to sprout. These will generally take about seven years, probably before it's producing a good, a good fruit on it, something we can eat. Uh, that's why a lot of people use, when they go to the uh, plant nurseries and stuff, you buy a fruit tree that was grafted onto an existing stock. That will let you get a little fruit, a little, sooner sometimes even in the first season but there we go we got it planted just that simple 
Notice how we kept the same level here. You can see a little bit of that bag hanging out here. Like I said, that'll degrade over time. And we're gonna give it a good watering. And I've probably got about a hundred of these to do. So y'all have a good evening, for, like I said, from East Texas and Brett's backyard. We'll talk to y'all later.